Hi guys, so the ISC computer science exam is in about four days and I'm gonna be sitting for that exam and I know I haven't made a video in a long time and this whole break has gone on for probably longer than it should have but I'm back now and I wanted to do this before the practical exam for ISC but because that couldn't happen I'm starting now hoping to cover say the entire syllabus or a large chunk of the syllabus before the ISC exam and then maybe work on practical videos for people who might be taking this in coming in the coming years so I'm just gonna sort of divide the the syllabus into parts and how exactly it's structured I'm gonna explain that and if you're an ISC student at this point of time you will probably know this but for the other people there is boolean algebra that's say like the first part and you know it's it's also called propositional logic i wouldn't say also called because that's incorrect but in in the isc framework they're treated interchangeably so boolean algebra logic um there are I'll, I'll go into this in more detail but briefly there are these things called propositions and there are laws and it's a lot like math and if, if you're doing ISC computer science and if you have math also you will probably have studied boolean algebra in math so it's it's a lot like a math topic um, besides boolean algebra there's a lot of stuff about computer hardware and hardware in that it's it's about some of the low level things about computer architecture and um, you know like logic gates um there are these things called adders decoders encoders multiplexers so this again is sort of a branch of boolean algebra and next under say com that that's pretty much it for like the first section of of the isc curriculum so I, i'm just gonna segregate that the next thing is section b which is primarily just java which is most of the stuff is very similar to what we've already covered in the icsc videos if there are things in the icsc videos or in the isc syllabus that i haven't covered in the icsc videos i will probably go over those but primarily it, it is all very similar there are a few brief details some theoretical things that weren't there in ICSC that are there um, one is like interfaces I don't think this was there in ICSC I don't quite remember myself but uh, interfaces is one and um, yes there is this um, very scary topic some people think it's scary called recursion which in my opinion is one of the most beautiful things in computer science so recursion is this really tricky really sort of daunting topic that people have that people always have a problem with in ISC um, but hopefully with my videos I'll, I'll try to simplify this as much as I can and recursion really useful comes in handy everywhere you'll have a bunch of questions on the ISC exam for example you will have um, questions on output questions on input you'll have to write programs that use recursion recursion is basically everywhere and there, there's a famous limerick uh, a sort of line that goes in order to understand recursion you must understand recursion and we'll, we'll go into more detail about all that and you'll actually get that joke so that's sort of section B and section C has more higher level I can say stuff about like OOP which is object oriented programming object oriented programming OP and um, then you have these principles of OOP that you may have learned in ICSC and I um, yeah in ICSC inheritance polymorphism and these sound really scary but trust me it's it's all very simple 
don't worry about it and then you have my personal favorite topic data structures and under data structures you will have quite a few different types of data structures you will have stacks queues you will have dqs oh i'm sorry it's pronounced deck not dq it's pronounced deck um besides this i think we also have linked lists and binary trees binary i'm just going to say b trees for binary trees so that's pretty much it for data structures and the last thing is complexity which is again a part of algorithms um which is basically how to analyze how efficient your programs are there's this thing called big o notation notation i'm sorry big o big o notation so complexity big o notation again it's it's all about analyzing how fast algorithms run and you'll understand all of this pretty soon so that is pretty much the end of the isc syllabus it is pretty big it's definitely much more than you should be doing in 4 days but i'm going to try to cover as many important parts of this syllabus without avoiding too many things i'm i'm probably going to avoid the things that have already been covered in icsc but things like boolean algebra things like data structures most of the things i I've, i've mentioned here are things that i will definitely be making videos on so this is pretty much it for this video i just wanted this to be an introductory video to the entire ic isc curriculum uh, in the next video i'll probably start with boolean algebra and introduce you to the basics of boolean algebra how it works all of that good stuff and for now thank you so much for watching my videos thank you for the support all throughout i think i began this in 2012 so if you are still here if you are still watching this thank you so much for for just being there you've all been amazing so that's pretty much it for this video and let's begin with boolean algebra in the next